Hi, welcome all of you on platform of your PD education, the dedicated platform which is basically helping the technocrats for opening various career options including higher education. So uh, this my video is related to uh, some information uh, regarding higher education courses like MTech, MS, PhD in uh, uh, IIT, IISC's, IIMS and uh, that is in the winter admissions uh, that is starting from now October, November 2020. Uh, till January so that uh, intake for that so uh, you know in that winter admission I want to discuss today uh, something about uh, interdisciplinary research program in IIT Madras I are uh, in uh, this is IDRP it is called uh, this is interdisciplinary basically research uh, that simply means uh, if you are from uh, electronic background then you can work on a project which looks like mechanical engineering project you know research is always interdisciplinary so what is the meaning of that is like if you want to do any project if you want to complete any project then it cannot be completed only by having electronic engineer or mechanical engineer or computer engineer you need to have team of uh, basically uh, engineering graduates of different branches then only project can be completed because in every project there is country there has to be contribution of each domain of uh, basically technology so you need to have uh, engineers from different departments uh, to complete that project now uh, in this particular uh, course that is interdisciplinary research program may IIT Madras may there are some projects list of the projects is also given so if you click if you go to site if you find this and if you click it there's a list of the project now uh, student keep on asking sir project is already given now how we can proceed forward and if you want to do your PhD in this particular uh, area then uh, uh, he is giving you the project on which you have to work now he's asking you to write the research proposal for that so if you read it uh, list of the IDRP projects then that is given to you and then there is some kind of eligibility for MS PhD interviews and there is some kind of requirements also so what is required from you so application of IDRP for MS PhD interviews is uh, to be filled in two stages first you have to apply for uh, institute research application portal and then you have to fill the google form also and then there's a eligibility criteria for ms phd and uh, there's a idrp eligibility criteria for each project i mean which branch people can join that also is given to you let me show you so that there's a project list there's a project uh, summary and in this video i'm going to show you how to write a research proposal for integrated uh, research projects how to write research proposal it is not a difficult thing but students find it difficult so i will explain you that now he has given you projects you know project p01 p02 you have to write that and uh, whether phd is available or ms is available what is available scholarship is available that everything is given so suppose uh, you talk about project 03 then this project is uh, related to prototype photosynthesizer you know that is this is the project related and there's a MS course also there's a PhD course also and if you want to apply so that there, there is a basically criteria also uh, eligibility also which is given so these are all the projects like development of stable high performance organic solar cells this is the name of the project the moment you enter little deep into this the details of the project is also given computational modeling of social interactions that is also mentioned there so there is a PhD and what is the criteria what is the eligibility that is given so as you can see on all the uh, basically departments or on the projects PhD MS is not there like engineering effective human machine interface in high risk industries it's a very good project actually and there there's an opportunity for MS also MS PhD those opportunities are there okay now so suppose uh, you go through these projects and suppose you start like the study of evaporation combustion atomization characteristic of emulsion fuels so there is a phd opportunity also and doctorate of philosophy so that is uh, this is the project so if you are from mechanical engineering you found okay this i can go for electrochemical assessment of high strength steel embedded in pre-stressed concrete systems you understand so uh, uh, maybe mechanical and civil engineering graduates can go for that so there is basically uh, these are some of the projects which are mentioned some 23 projects now I have taken project number two just to explain you how research proposal is to be written I have taken a project number two so he mentions in detail about project number two and he says that for this project who is eligible uh, candidate having degree in chemistry mechanical engineering or physics so that is the eligibility you can only apply if this is the criteria this is the background you have and this is what they mentioned about green process of recovery of valuable from electronic waste this is the 
project which is given to you and who can apply for this project students from chemistry physics mechanical engineering they can apply for this project and the research area is sustainability what is the meaning of sustainability that whenever there is a technology it should be sustainable it's not that uh, you waste that particular technology it should be sustainable that means uh, uh, it should be long lasting so if there is an electronic waste which is called e-waste how to convert e-waste into valuable thing how to get value or wealth out of waste so wealth from the waste how to get it that is our main research area and this is a very big domain right now you read it the project abstract is this urban uh, rapid ur ur urbanization and increased living standard increase the consumption of electronic devices electronic goods and devices ka lifespan is small that means there is a waste now how to handle that particular waste and how to convert uh, basically that waste into wealth so uh, waste contains the material of real value precious uh, metals are there suppose i give you uh, some particular mobile phone so in this mobile phone there is some kind of material which is used now after some time this mobile is useless i throw it now can i extract that material from this particular waste so what kind of uh, basic metals are there copper aluminum nickel zinc iron all these and precious metal even silver etc are used in this how can this be recovered that is the project now this is everything is given now you want to do project on this how to write a research proposal for this so what i did is this let me tell you i just typed green process of recovery of valuables from electronic waste that means the title of the project itself i googled out keywords title jo bhi tumhe samajh aata hai like uh, well, waste to wealth ye enter kar do electronic waste how to handle it how to extract material from electronic waste ye enter kar do so google pe aap kuch bhi enter karoge to kuch na kuch research paper nikal ke aayega and i entered this thing and this is what i got i got a pdf of green processes for electronic waste recycling this is what i got and then i started reading it and i started reading the abstract of this paper and when i was reading it i got okay to prevent the toxicity contaminants to human and environment uh, it is eligible to analyze the peculiarities and composition of various materials e waste how to manage their recycling by green eco friendly processes so can i do a project on recycling uh, recycling of basically these particular uh, electronic materials for uh, eco friendly processes i mean to convert that extraction of the metal extraction of the uh, me metal from this particular electronic waste so what are the recycling processes which i can use and you know then i started reading this paper in detail that is also available there this is a research paper written by someone so uh, this is green processes for electronic waste recycling i can write a research proposal on green processes for electronic waste recycling that means if i get into this pro project which is related to how to extract value from the electronic waste so if i get into this project i will what i will do i will say i will basically go for uh, uh, recycling recycling of this electronic waste and that recycling should be green process that is what i am going to go for that so this i started reading i started reading the paper and in the paper i got this kind of uh, diagram you know and i understood this diagram and in my in my research proposal if i write these kind of uh, things where i understand it and then i write how final metal can be recovered you know electronic waste comes collected it dismantled it pre processing kiya and processing kiya final metal recovery ho gaya ek cycle hai mere paas this is the e, uh, e cycling basically recycling i am doing green recycling i am doing if i go forward i got some kind of treatment processes also like bio leaching treatment process if i understood i can even write that i will go for some recycling processes like bio leaching is a treatment process which i can go for or vacuum recycling process i can go for so i can mention these kind of processes that i will stick to these kind of processes and i will do that so vacuum recycling process or bio leaching whatever we have heard so these processes we understood and we will mention in our research proposal that is this one page research proposal so professor who has given this project to you that this is what i want to do that professor expects that you should know what you are going to do in this project and how you will do that first read the project which is given then go to google find to internet go to youtube find some information and jot down what you want to do that is your research proposal 
that what you will do once you join ms or phd that what you will do in that research that is called research proposal and it is very simple document not difficult i hope you have understood it so this kind of uh, courses you know like uh, iit uh, this um, uh, iit madras is coming out with this kind of uh, uh, projects so i believe these are very very important these are very uh, i believe these are very uh, uh, simple Uh, research proposals are very simple it can be very easily you can make this proposal it is not at all difficult in my opinion let me okay so this we can find out okay so we can uh, easily find out what are the various research areas in which we can work uh, by seeing our own interest so the purpose of my this video was that whenever you want to make a research proposal you need to do some kind of survey some kind of analysis some kind of literature review and internet has made your life very comfortable nowadays because you can with a click of mouse get different information but you need to understand that in a simple terms and write that in a simple words one page document and send it and when the interview is there then you need to justify okay sir i want to do this once i get into this uh, department i would like to go for uh, vacuum e cycling whatever uh, technique uh, technologies we have just seen in that paper so people are doing somewhere else i would also like to do something like that so that will be your research proposal i hope you understood how it is to be done keep applying there are lot of opportunities in iits in different domains and some of the projects are related to management you know where uh, a student from any department can apply they are management courses and their projects and projects are funded by industry trees and once you complete these projects not only you will be given ms or phd but you will also get jobs in the industries if you do it really good that like one video i had uploaded where a student did very good internship and the industry offered him job when you say na jobs are not there in industries actually it is not there i am interacting with many industry people they tell me that if some student is seriously doing project he can certainly get a job also in the same industry so that is getting job is not a trouble only thing is you are doing your job seriously or not so do your project seriously it is a industry sponsored project and certainly if you do it nicely you get industrial job also i will keep on coming with more uh, such projects and how to write a such proposal for these projects and i will keep on discussing with that keep applying keep preparing thank you Thank <laughs> you.